Happy Monday. It is Monday noon time here on the, in the East Coast. And hey, this is the Facebook Live time. I am coming to you from Southern New Hampshire. Let's see, we are, it's going to be really, really hot today. So I did manage to go outside and, you know, get a quick walk in um, just to like be outside also. So I am just trying to do the two things at once, which is talk and share this to my private Facebook community, which you will start seeing this in as soon as I get there. I feel like it just gets it just gets a little different like every week and since I only do it once a week <laughs> I'm just not I'm just not as good as it at it can't even talk properly <clears throat> and I'm also gonna share it on my personal page There we go. So I wanted to share that I am starting a podcast. It is going to be coming out next Tuesday. There are some signs that it's already been approved on a couple of platforms, and I'm really just waiting to hear about um, iTunes now. That's uh, the big one. I mean, I'm such an Apple girl, so why wouldn't I be on iTunes? And plus all the other podcasts that I have been on, you know, they're all over. Um, it's just easier you know like when you type in my name you know all the different podcasts that I've been on just kind of suddenly come up but I wanted to hop on here because hosting a podcast is a never another form of content but it's also another platform and you know that I'm very big into find your platform you know where is it that you can um, be on and show up consistently and feel good about it because you know that like if you find something that you really really enjoy that you're just going to show up like it's it's easier for you to show up and do it every single time so one of the ones that i picked was doing a live stream now trust me and i was just doing one of my podcast episodes recording one of them on this sharing that you know like my very first live stream here in facebook um is still up and the reason why I leave it up is because I want people to see the difference uh, my private clients you know that work with me I don't want them to ever think oh well, yeah it's easy for you to do Facebook lives to do live streaming because fill in whatever excuse um, because I want them to be able to see my first one which was I'm sure it's not very good I'm sure it was very short Maybe nobody was even on watching, but I showed up and it's out there. And what you'll notice is I've gotten more comfortable with being live. I've gotten more comfortable with hosting this, what I call my, my it's, it's my live stream show. It's my Facebook show. And I also use this and I repurpose it in a way. And this automatically goes over to YouTube and even this one that's going to be like why I'm hosting a podcast is also going to be over on YouTube. And then from YouTube, it's also on my website. So there's multiple, like I never do something um, unstrategically. And I teach all of my private clients, you know, to do things very strategically. As a matter of fact, I was on a call with them. Um, it was just a, a free call because, yes, I still do those. And actually, I love doing free calls so that people get a um, so that another perspective, another set of eyes on their business, if you will. And was sharing with somebody about like how like content, you know, is you should have a strategy behind it, and it doesn't need to be complicated. Um, I believe in start something small, and then add on from there. You know that I am a big person for like going to the gym and um, before this whole pandemic you know I was spending a lot of time I was going to Orange Theory haven't started that back up again it's just not quite at the level that I want it to be because uh, I want it to be something fun that I enjoy doing so 
it's always like adding on something. So I certainly didn't just join Orange Theory um, from never working out. Although there are some people like that's what they do, but the, I just wanted it to add a little supplement to my regular workouts and biking with dad, you know, during this time of the year. So it was something that I added on. And the exact same thing with building your business. You know, I started off with live streaming and then I kind of graduated to, um, you know, and I was also writing content, writing content, writing, um, doing the live streams, um, blogging, you know, being a guest expert on other people. And then I just like really like came up with like a system that now includes the add-on of the podcast. And you'll probably see how that sort of plays into everything. You know, it will become my main focus of content and other pieces of content will spur from there. Yes, I'm still going to be doing the Facebook lives. And I'm also, what's going to be special about doing the podcast is that inside my private Facebook group, which if you're not already over there is Entrepreneurs Making an Impact, hop yourself right over there and make sure you're there because we're going to be diving a little bit deeper to some of those podcast episodes. We'll, I'll be doing some Facebook Lives and we'll be having discussions about, you know, like going deeper on um, the people that are in my group, you know, to be able to like be able to ask me questions after listening to it. Um, typically, it's probably going to be like a week after, like if the podcast launches on uh, episodes drop on a Monday, um, or maybe even a, even a Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't made that decision yet. Um, that the following week, like on a, like a week and a half later, that way it gives people like you know like seven to ten days to listen to it, and then we can like have this discussion, so that this way my audience is going deeper with my with my material, with my learning, with um, my different my content. And then I'm able to answer people's questions. I'll be more readily available. And from there, um, so there'll be more lives. I mean, just like everything just like really ties together. And it's something that I'm trying to help all of my clients. Like when they show up, it's usually I'm either just starting a business. I'm trying to pivot my existing business. I need to change or scale. And it's like, let's do it very strategically. There needs to be a plan behind this. You know that I'm all about like having that success psychology, really good, strong mindset. That is the foundation to everything. And then from there, deciding on what's the strategy. I mean, like I look at it like a triangle and the mindset's on the bottom. And then one side is like, what's the strategy that we are going to build in order to get us to our goal? And then it's the other side of the triangle is the action. So all like, you know, like all three of these together, you know, are just like a constant, like, um, I don't want to say a circle, but it's a, in, in medicine, it's like a positive, a positive cycle. Um, but being able to have that strategy and sometimes we are just, this is what I notice, um, new people that are are entering into, into the online world, or even people who have been here a while and are just kind of struggling. They're throwing spaghetti at the wall. Like, let me try this. Oh, I just read this post, or I just read this email, saw this video, um, was part of this challenge. Let me go and try that now. Let me see if that works. The problem with throwing spaghetti on the wall is that you're not sure what's really working. Let me repeat that because it's that important. The problem with throwing spaghetti on the wall is that you never know what's really working. You don't know what is attracting your ideal clients and you don't know how you're bringing in those clients so that you can just do that on repeat. Does that make sense? You want to do things strategically. Otherwise, you're just going to be the hamster like on the wheel, just constantly like going around and around and constantly like, you know, like, let me try something new. Let me see if this works. Coming up with your platform, find your platform. For me, it's going to be podcasting and live streaming. And from there, like everything else, like, you know, gets built on my website because I've got a team members that are here to help me do all of this. Um, and by having team, you know, they kind of keep me in my zone of genius. And if you're not at that point where you can hire team members, don't even like, don't, don't even worry about it. 
you know, you do what you can with what you have, with where you are. You do what you can with what you have, with where you are. So don't try doing everything. Let's just find a couple of things and strategically do them and then add on from there. But again, let's try one or two things so that you know what's working and what's not working so that you are going to, so that you'll know exactly what works and you're, you're not throwing spaghetti up against the wall. And that's part of what I'm going to be talking about on my podcast. I'm going to be talking about things about mindset because I think it's so, so critical. Strategies, you know, I'm going to share with you like stuff that I do, stuff that I'm doing behind the scenes, stuff that my clients are doing. I'm using my clients as case studies so that you can see like, oh, I can see how I was throwing spaghetti up against the wall. Um, I'm going to share with you those things. And then like the action steps that actually move us forward. There is a lot of noise on the internet. And I was just discussing um, with one of my clients this morning about even just your email inbox. There is so much noise. Now, there's so much noise that like I have a separate email address that is just for newsletters. Yeah. Just for newsletters so that that doesn't that doesn't um get into the emails like the important emails like you know emails of people that want to sign up for for discovery calls, people that want to sign up for free calls, people like my private clients or people that are trying to have, you know like hire me for consulting or speaking. But I also have another email address just for Facebook notifications. And I know a lot of times, like when I've shared that with people, they say, you know, you can shut your notifications off. Yeah, but I'm posting in a lot of groups and I want to be notified. I want to know like which, which um, comments and which posts that I need to make sure that I pay attention to. So I like having those come in, even though I do check in on, on Facebook periodically. Let's, I just want to say hello to Talene over here. Aline says, do what you can with what you have, with where you are. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I know that you're doing the same. Um, by the way, I'm obsessed with um, the lip balm. I'm wearing the berry one that you sent. Thank you so much. So back to um, what you can expect with the podcast. Just some just like honest stuff. <laughs> I'm going to have be having so much fun. I've been recording a couple of episodes, having so much fun, just me and you. And like now with the podcast, you and I can go anywhere. You want to like take me to the gym? Take me to the gym. You want to, you know, like pop me, you pop, pop your earbuds in while you're, you know, maybe like doing some house cleaning, some house chores, just going for a walk. Um, going to the grocery store, like we can do that. That's what's going to be great. And there's going to be lots of notes in the show notes so that um, if I mention a resource, you'll have a place to turn to so that you can see that. But I want to let you know that um, it is, I would jump on the launch team. And being on my launch team means that you are going, you're on the sharing team. You're going to be sharing my podcast. You're also going to be the first to hear when all the episodes are live, which, and what I mean by that is the first initial episodes. And you're going to be able to win some amazing thank you gifts. I've got some great stuff that I have literally pulled out of the vault to share with you. They are things like Master Your Sales, which is a video training along with an accompanying workbook, private Facebook call, private, excuse me, uh, private, private group calls, um, people are going to also be winning private coaching calls with me. One lucky person is going to win a 90 minute intensive with me. And there is also, I'm also pulling out of the vault, the speaking for clients masterclass. And that is videos along with a corresponding workbook. So those are just some of the, the ways that I just want to say thank you. So all you have to do is jump on that launch team and I'm typing that down here below 
um, so that you have that link. And I'm also like, and the, this was just something that, that I planned this morning. Um, the launch and the launches, I'm going to the launch party, excuse me, the launching team and all the times that you get to share um, to win all those prizes. It's going to go for about two weeks. It's going to go from the fourth. So I guess that's technically just 11 days from that, the fourth, which is a Tuesday till the following Friday. I believe that it is. It's the 15th. And um, I'm also going to have a launch party, which probably will be the week after the podcast is the, the goal is that the podcast is l launching live on the fourth. But if you're on my launch team and it, everything happens sooner, then you will be notified uh, of all of all of the, the all of that. I'm getting a little tongue tied because I'm a little excited about all of this. So. Feel free to join that launch team because why not? I mean, if you're going to share the podcast and you're going to be um, leaving me a review and rating it so that we can help more people get this information that helps them move forward, um, you know, like I want to say thank you. Um, thank you for being on this journey with me. Um, it's so fun to do this together because, you know, a tide um, like raises all boats and you know, like I want to be able to share my information with you so that you can build the business that you want to build and by you sharing it with other people, they'll be able to do exactly the same. So be on the lookout for the launch party, which most likely will be the week after the podcast goes live and just before the end of the, you know, like the launching time where you get to share and earn those prizes. So we'll uh, just kind of like have like, it, it'll be fun. Maybe we'll be have a little bit of champagne and uh, we'll talk more about the episodes. And I'll even give you some behind the scenes. Like if you're interested in starting a podcast, let me know. And we can have those discussions as well because um, it is a great way to get your content out there. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching the replay, please hit replay. I hope that you'll join me on my launch team and also the launch party. And if you want to be one of those people, I was kind of mentioning about previously about somebody who had jumped on a kind of free call with me about how to get a better strategy or just another set of eyes on your business. Feel free to do that. Um, reach out to me. You can also go to chatwithla.com. Uh, let me type that in. And that is a great way just for you and I to sit down and talk about your business. What are the, some of the hurdles that you're experiencing so that you can get over those hurdles and start moving forward in the right direction. Remember, your strategy doesn't have to be complicated. As a matter of fact, I think I'm allergic to complicated strategies. So I hope you guys have a great week. You will be hearing more from me and about the podcast, and I will talk to you soon.